five solutions to get a better body right now. Coming in at number three on our list are those dreaded varicose veins. Such a common problem. And as we know, veins are those blood vessels in our, in our body that we see here uh, animation that return deoxygenated blood back to the heart, so-called venous return. And what is so important, the key with veins is the function of these little valves inside those, those veins because gravity wants to pull everything down. Without, without those valves, that's exactly what happens. So when the valves go bad, you get distended, twisted, painful, unsightly veins in the leg and that's exactly what a varicose vein is and we're going to show you how to fix it. Well, varicose veins are not only unsightly, they can be very painful like Dr. Warden just said. We now have a new laser treatment that is helping many women get rid of the problem once and for all. I'm only 40 years old and when I look down at my legs, I feel like I have the legs of someone who is twice my age. Several years ago, I realized that I had a varicose vein on the back of my left knee. They continue to get worse and more bulging, very disfigured looking. I have some pain like when you have a bruise, just tender to the touch. It's just sort of a constant thing that's always there. I'm always aware of it. To see this bulging, disfigured calf, it really has impacted my self-confidence. I used to think that my legs were one of my better features, and now I don't like to look at them. I don't like other people to look at them. I don't even remember the last time I put on a skirt. To find out that this could be treated with laser and just be able to get up and walk around immediately, I was thrilled. The reason that Kimberly is such a great candidate for this procedure is because she has a very enlarged greater saphenous vein. Kimberly's vein is about three or four times normal size. The laser energy will be delivered directly to the inside wall of the vein, eventually producing a cord instead of a vein. And so the vein will no longer be able to have that backflow of, of blood causing the problems in her lower calf. All right, Kimberly, you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure, okay? This light is the light from the fiber going up Kimberly's vein. It's a very concentrated form of energy. So I want it at 6.5. All right, start the pullback. The laser is destroying the inside lining of Kimberly's vein. Another minute or so, we're finished. And that's it. You can see the tiny entry point. So Kimberly's not gonna have any scars and I think she's gonna have a great result. I would love to be able to, you know, throw on a skirt without always feeling like I've gotta cover up my legs. And I'm just so looking forward to what the future holds. Kim is here with vein specialist, Dr. Margaret O'Byrne. And you know, this is something that affected you at a fairly young age. Who at home needs to worry about this developing? You know, we all need to worry about varicose veins because we all stand upright. People um, that are walking around, that are sitting a lot, we're all potentially vulnerable to varicose vein problems. Mm -hmm. Men but, and women, both sexes. But more common in women. Certainly, women do seem to have a little more trouble with it, especially during the childbearing years, because of the extra pressure of the pregnancy and the baby and the childbirth. And Kim was a great example of that, having had her third baby. Mm -hmm. And then sure enough, her veins were very, very painful. She developed blood clots in her veins. It was very important that Kim go ahead and get this procedure done. And an important point for people at home is you don't need these veins to survive. So eliminating these veins, closing them off is not going to cause any long-term problems, which is exactly what you're doing. No, and that's a very good point. I'm glad you brought that up. There's sometimes a misconception and some patients feel as though I, I need these veins. These are important to me. How can I possibly get rid of these veins? These veins are not helping anyone. Just as though this fiber was inside a vein, this fiber is going to be pulled back and there's a certain amount of energy that is going to be generated inside this little plastic tube. And this is very similar to what actually happens inside a vein when this technology is being used in a, in a real person. So that's what was happening inside my vein as you pull, as the laser went back through. It was just shutting down. That's right. It's the destroying blood flow, blood flow through that vein. Specifically, it's destroying the inside lining of the vein, and it's also affecting the protein structure of the vein so that it collapses in on itself. 
And then over time, the body is really encouraged to resorb that vein entirely, and that's what will happen over so, the next several weeks. So the vein just remains inside my body, but just it just doesn't have anything flowing through it. Is that how it works? That's exactly right. I noticed when you came up here that uh, you were wearing a skirt. I am. Yay. For the first time in a long time. That's so awesome. this procedure was done a little less than a month ago? Yes, just so, about a month ago. So I want to take a quick look at the way your legs look before the procedure again. Okay, so I want everyone to see this. And I want you to go ahead and show us your new legs. This is the last I don't day. see miracles, babies. And I want to see them side by side because this is... You see very close, man? No, oh, that is. This is this is the area where it has the very close man. Very impressive result. The procedure was yeah, virtually painless. I mean, it was. I likened it during the procedure to like a little bit more than when I plucked my eyebrows, and then a small amount of pain afterwards during the first 24 hours of recovery that I managed with ibuprofen, and it was easy. And I just am delighted with how. How fabulous my legs look. Back in her skirts. Well, thank her skirts. you both so much. And thank you. congratulations thank you. on the outcome.